Hey up, it's Louise. I'm feeling really 80s today. There's not any shoulder pads in here. I was hoping there would be. I should know it's my shirt. I don't know. I'm feeling, feeling myself today. I've got some crochet bits to show you that I've made recently. I will be completely honest with you. I, <laughs> and I love using this phrase. I see people online use it. I lost my crojo which is like losing your mojo of a crochet. My crojo. So I made, I tried to make a couple of bits, some wearables, and they were just crap. So I got to a point and I've sort of just dismantled one of them and then one I've just stopped because it kind of sucks. Um, so I'll show you my failures, but then I'll show you my successes because I did get my crojo back, but I was feeling, I was just like, why am I even bothering with some crap anyway? Like, I'm not crap, I'm very good and talented, but I'm also mental. Um, I'll show you. I'm so mad about this one, right? So I started making this sort of wavy sweater, um, and then I've dismantled it out of anger um, <laughs> with this really nice purple and pink yarn. And I have just dismantled it out of rage. Uh, so I made it and it was looking really good. But the video I was watching, I don't know, like her measurements must have been very different to mine. She must have been a short ass um, and I'm not, I'm not tall, but I'm not short ass because, oh my God, I got so far. So I made the body of it. How nice was this gonna be? And then she said at a certain point to start making the neckline, but then the neckline was like this, um, and it looked crap. It looked like it was supposed to be worn off the shoulder. It looked terrible, so I frogged it. Um, <laughs> and I don't remember where I put the other sleeve. I only got one sleeve here, but ugh, it was gonna be so nice. But <laughs> I'm just gonna wear this one sleeve. It was gonna be so nice. Um, until it wasn't. I need to find the other sleeve. But yeah, I'm going to unravel this and use this yarn to make something else. I will give it another go at some point. But I just need to just really sit down and do my measurements right. I can't do things by other people's measurements because that's not my measurements. And also sometimes I do things to other people's measurements. And I'm like, yeah, this will fit because it's supposed to be like oversized or whatever and it still doesn't work and I don't know why and then I lose all my confidence you know so that was a fail I'm gonna go and take this upstairs and unwind it all and then I tried to make this a sort of scrappy sweater and then I stopped on this one because also why is the neck so wide um and it was just gonna be too wide I don't know it's kind of ugly as well <laughs> it's just going to be too chunky and too wide and it's sort of raglan style and I've realised I don't like making things like raglan. I like to make, I don't know, I like to make the separate parts. Um, I don't want to make it all just one piece. I don't, I don't really care for that, uh, but I made it way too wide. It feels quite nice, but it's kind of stiff. Um, I'm going to undo all that. Uh, this is just, oh god. Heinous. What's this in here? Oh, some to-do list that I printed off and then immediately uh, <laughs> lost. That's very typical, Louise. So these were fails. Um, I am not happy with this. I'm going to undo all this as well and do something with the scrap yarns. Yams. Uh, disappointing. Sad. Uh, but do you like this really old co-op bag that I've got my yarn in? probably older than me that bag I love that so disappointing and I tried to make those and they just went wrong and I was having a crisis of confidence and then I was really sad so I had to do some some little bits that were little wins and then I have made a successful wearable and I'll show you that in a minute and I'm already making another one because the tutorial is really good I will link that below because it is fantastic a big up craft and a copper the best tutorial for a jumper that I've ever seen and I'll show you in a sec Sorry, I just had to go make a cup of tea. Uh, so, my first little bits. I made the hat a while ago and then I was thinking, I'm gonna make it into a strawberry, but um, I don't know how to make it into a strawberry, so I just put a little stalk on it. And what is it? Is it a cherry? Is it an apple? Is it a pepper? It's cute as hell is what it is. 
that was a quick little win. This was just, the hat was just up in the attic in my craft room, just sitting there staring at me and I wasn't doing anything with it because I'm a lazy bones. And one day it was raining and I was just sat there and I was like, I'm gonna make a stupid stalk for it. And it took me about two minutes. I bought this yarn. I need to weave in this end, hold on. <laughs> bought this yarn from uh, the Age UK for 50p and I took it on holiday with me but then I forgot how to make a beret. Uh, I was doing it wrong, so it came out funny. So I had to wait till I got home to try again. Let me just weave this end in. I'm so professional. <sighs> Leave it all to the last minute, don't I? Yeah, it's Treacle shouting. I don't know if you can hear her. She's, uh, she's obsessed with bringing me toys. She's like, there you go, mummy. Are you hungry? I brought you a toy. It's food. It's not food. Anyway, ends woven in. Uh, just another hat. I love making hats. I need to put like find a place for them though. It's not supposed to be a beret, but it's a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of beret. -er. It's a little bit tight. It's a little bit tighter than the rest. Cute, huh? I like my silly little hat. I'm gonna wear that for the rest of the video. This is an ambient project. I've made a boatload of granny squares, solid granny squares, I've never made these before, from my mini skein club, I think that's what it's called by Vicky Brown Designs. Uh, basically every month you get five mini skeins of hand dyed yarn and it is merino wool. And like, I think it's like, I'm sure it's like 80% merino, 20% nylon to give it a little bit of stretch. But I am going to make, more fool me for making all these bloody individual granny squares and then I've got to join them together, but I'm going to make a blanket out of them. Uh, but I made a fat stack here and I've got some, oops, I don't mean to just wobble the camera there. <laughs> uh, I've got some more skeins that are all balled up nice, like, because I hate working from the skein. I like to ball them. And I'm just working through those ambiently. Uh, if I'm just like stuck and I need to keep my hands busy, I like to take the yarn with me wherever I go. I've got a little bag to keep it in and my hook. And I'll just knock one of those out. And they're so cute. Oh, they're so nice. The yarns are beautiful. Oh, this one is nice. This one is really nice. Um, so yes, I'm ambiently making a blanket and they feel so soft as well because it's merino wool. Divine. Divine. <sighs> Stunning, beautiful, etc. <sighs> I've got two more bits to show you. I've made a bag, but there's loads of stuff in it, so I'm just gonna take that out. Give me a sec. I've emptied it out. Granny square, tote, not a tote, just a bag. Made from cotton yarn, so it won't stretch loads. It stretches a little bit, but uh, <laughs> when I've made these before from acrylic, they just sort of sag. So I had a load of little scraps of cotton. I thought I'd make myself a cute bag. Nice, huh? What do we reckon? But yeah, I've actually been using this. I've just had to unpack a, <laughs> a lot of stuff. I didn't want to line it, so I've just been keeping stuff that's likely to fall through the holes, like lipstick and that is a small body spray. Um, <laughs> has Snow Fairy in it. Delicious. Keeping stuff like that in that bag, but then big stuff like my wallet and my mirror. Um, like Charles and Diana wedding mirror, of course. I've just been just like ambiently in the bag. Um, I love the look of granny squares, don't get me wrong. Jesus wept, I hate weaving in the ends. I hate weaving in the ends, I hate it. It took me probably as long to weave in all the bloody ends as it did <laughs> to make the squares. I was enraged, I was like, right, surely I'm nearly done now, no. Making 13 granny squares is not a big task. Weaving in the ends on 13 granny squares, I wanted to die. Not to be dramatic. But how cute is this? This is adorable. This is really nice. I saw a woman, I was in boots and she had a granny square bag and it was like the edging was this sort of like neutral color, which I had a big skein of. So I thought I'm gonna copy that. I wanna be like that woman, I'm really impressionable. I made myself a cute little bag. I 
I really like this. For summertime? Stunning. I only use that all the time. Like, I've used it multiple times. I've like just finished it and I've used it multiple times. I bloody love it. My last bit. This is my proudest creation. Ooh. I made a successful jumper. I need to do a bit of tweaking on my next one. I've started my next one it is down here. Let me show you a little peek. Sneak, a little sneak peek. Yes, I used the odds and ends tutorial by Craft on a Copper and it was amazing. So it's made to measure. There's different sizes. It's not just a make it till it's this big. Cause that's the problem with some of them. It's like, oh, make it until it's like wide enough to fit like your shoulders or whatever. But then I don't know, then you make the sleeves and they're all wrong. You know, but this, there's like six, seven different sizes and you can also, if you want it to be a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, you can adjust it. It's not gonna make that much difference. So it's a scrap yarn jumper. And I learned three new stitches when I did this. The foundation double crochet, never done that before. Stacked single crochet, never done that before. And I have done, well, I tried to do a like front post double crochet and back post double crochet but the tutorial that I watched wasn't very good and it just looked crap, but I've learned how to do them properly now and it looks really good on the ribbing on the cuffs. Look at that. And on the neckline and on the bottom. So yeah, I made this from little scraps of yarn. That is the back. Trickle's really wailing. <laughs> yeah, so on my next one, I need to actually, uh, I didn't realize that I made the sleeve so big and I should have turned my work so you can't really see like the seams are not all weird, but I didn't do that. But yeah, I made the sleeves way, way too wide, but I think it looks nice. Um, this is the back and this is the front. It is so hideous. It's, re it's really nice. I'm really proud of this. Like it actually looks, I mean, I know it's really ugly, like, uh, it's not to everyone's taste. I like it, it's really garish. Obviously I made it, but it actually fits me and it's cute and it's cropped. I'm gonna try it on now. Let me take my hat off. Stunning. Let me put, put it on over my shirt. I really like this, you know, I'm well chuffed with this. Like the sleeves are monstrous uh, on the next one. I do them less, but I didn't realize I'd made them so uh, big. I think I've just got lipstick on it. Yes, I have, oops. <laughs> got lipstick on my nice new jumper hold on but yeah that'd be really nice as well for like layering not necessarily with this shirt but one of my like lighter shirts just to peek it through <gasps> how cute look at my big sleeves I need to weave in that end pretend you didn't see that <laughs> How adorable. I really like this. Let me, let me turn around so you can see the back. Ooh, I'm kneeling on my skirt. Do we love it? I mean, if you don't, I don't care. I really like it. But I think it looks really cute and I'm excited to make my second one that I, I've made the back panel. I'm nearly finished with the front panel. I need to seam the shoulders and the sides and make some sleeves and do some ribbing. But I am so chuffed. Like, I could never do the like front post and back post double crochets before, but I'm well chuffed with them. I think it looks really good. I really like this. <laughs> oh, oh, Trickle's here. Hello. Thank you. Hello, sweetheart. She brought me a toy. Let me just, I'll go grab it. I'll grab it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. She's just brought me a brown mouse uh, as a treat. It's really scratter. Thanks, Chico. She brought that as a snack for her mummy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. She's killing it now. She's killing it. Um, <laughs> she loves that mouse. She loves that mouse toy so much. Anyways, I made a jumper successfully and I'm chuffed and I'm excited to make another one. I'm gonna make, I think with this, sad uh wavy jumper that went wrong i might use that yarn to make one of these because it feels really nice and it's really cute uh, so those are my makes i love you and leave you now guys i'll see you on the next one i need to crack on 
finishing this. Yeah, you're just peeping down there. She's having fun. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>